Top of the morning to you. We're in, we're in my uh, workshop, computer room, slash everything else. I got my new fancy computer up and running. And I want to show you how one of my uh, 35 millimeter scanner works. It scans these 35 millimeter slides and it scans these negatives right here. So it's, it's, really an, it's really a neat device. So the first thing we have to do, we plug in the USB cable into the front of the USB port like this. Now I'm gonna flip the switch on the back. Doo, 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 doo. When you hear that doo, 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 that means it's connected. The computer's detected it and it's connected. So that has to warm up a minute. So how we do these slides right here. On this particular scanner, this is a prime film scanner. Um, prime film XA super edition. And you, on these, it automatically feeds the, um, the negatives into the side one frame at a time. I also have another scanner, the, the plus tax 8200i. It's really nice. You can actually do, you can do these. You put these inside of a, inside of a little slide holder or a, a little, uh, negative holder. And you can do 35 millimeter because I have a holder for that too. So I use both of them, but uh, you can only do one slide at a time. See, here, here's what the slides look like. So you just put it into the front, like right here, like this, and you push. And you hear a little noise, it's like it clamps down on it. And, and uh, these are really nice because these have autofocus and they do a really good job. They're about $500 new. This one was out of stock for, I don't know, it took like six months to get it in when I ordered it, but. So we're gonna, we're now, we're now gonna go to the computer and I'm gonna show you how we do it using the Silverfast 9 software because it's highly entertaining, even if you don't wanna watch. So watch anyway, will ya? Top of the morning to ya. Hold on. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Silverfast software, Silverfast 9. So I'm gonna click on the icon here on my desktop. This is called a shortcut. It takes a second or so for it to come on. There it is, I didn't click it hard enough. Okay, it's, it's, um, it's detected the scanner. So I'm gonna click start. Okay, we're on the screen. Now the first thing we're gonna do, this scanner has infrared, which means it goes over it twice. And what infrared does is it helps remove the uh, scratches and dust all off the scans. You know, the first thing you want to do when you scan these is you want to you want to use a little puffer device that blows air onto the slide or whatever or the negative and tries to get the dust off. But it's you're still going to have dust on there, so this is a great tool for that. So we've got that highlighted. Now, I don't really know what all this stuff is, but so but the first thing we have to do is we're going to click pre-scan. Now it's going gonna, it's gonna to do a pre-scan of the slide so that you can see what you're looking at. And it's always important to see what you're looking at, especially when you're driving down the street. Okay, it's a it's a slow process because it warms up as it's okay now it's running the scan. There we go. Uh, you, now if it's not perfect you, you just pull you can pull these red lines in and out and then that looks pretty good right there. And there's other programs that you can adjust these in. You can like use a clone tool and here here in the corners you, you can fill that in. 
so that doesn't show up. I mean, you just you go to another program for that. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna th this is auto color correction. If we click that, we'll see that makes it worse. So we're gonna undo that. There we go. All right, this is an old slide with a greenish cast, and that's just kind of how it was back then. So now all we're gonna do, now you wanna go up here and re rename it like right here where it says name. So we're gonna call it Ladder um, Whoops, I don't know. Ladder Shed, it doesn't matter. And we're, the quality is uh, 300, 300 PPI. That, that's usually where I keep it. Now the resolution, it goes up to 10,000. But from what I've heard, that it actually can only do about 5,000. But that is a really high resolution. And I usually just only have it set at 2,500. That still creates a very large file. So I'm at, see you can go up to 10,000, but we're, I, I just keep it at about, um, There's 5,000 DPI. That's a, that's a really large scan. 2,500 is good enough. 5,000 is a very large scan. And the larger you set it, the longer it takes. And you can set the uh, you can you can save it as a TIFF, which is an uncompressed file format, or you can save it as a JPEG, which is a compressed file format. Now we just click scan. I got it on TIFF. TIFF is better if you're going to edit afterwards, because you can go into your favorite. Um, photo editing program and re-edit you can adjust the colors and the shadows and everything like that and one of the programs I use on one raw it has an AI no noise removal feature so it can actually take all of the grain out of the photo photo and make it look like it kind of like a digital photo it depends on how good it shaped the slides in. but sometimes you like the grain in there it just depends personal preference I guess it adds more time to it, but all right, it's scanning right now. And it's scanning to uh, just. Uh, I got it. It's I created a folder in my pictures called Silverfast Nine, and that should be where it's at. So we'll go in here and look. All right, that's finished. So I'm going to click on this folder here. Now we're going to go into Silver Fat. We're going to go into Pictures, Silver Fast Nine, and right here it is. So if I double click that, there, there's our picture right there in, in Windows Photo Viewer. We can see what it looks like. Isn't that nifty? Now what we're going to do? We've done scan this. I'm going to close this out for now. Now we're going to go into On One Raw 2022. A lot of people use Lightroom. I like this program. You don't. You have to upload everything in Lightroom. So we click that open, and up pops the Learning Hub. We don't need that right now. Now we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go browse a folder. We're going to go back to Pictures. Now we're going to go to Silverfast. Whoops. Whoops. I just need the Silverfast 9 select folder. Now these are some of the photographs that I've scanned. So here's the one we just did. So I'm going to click that and then I'm going to come over here and click edit. All right, there, there's our photo for editing. Now there's all kinds of things you can do over here in, um, in uh, on, one, on one raw here. We can, uh, we can turn the brightness up, we can adjust, see the contrast, the uh, highlights, midtones, see what that does, shadows, so you can adjust the shadows there a little bit. Now we can come down here and adjust the color temperature, which is the same thing as white balance. We can adjust that. See, we can turn that up, just, we can get a little more color and take some of that green out of it. If we go to about you know about right there now the tent we can adjust that too and yeah, 
takes a little bit of it out of their saturation and I usually don't have to mess with that but if you go to like see like right in here you, that adds maybe too much but that gives you some more color when you go into there about right there looks pretty good whoops it, it, it moved on me I'd say about right there if it don't move on me again there we go back up to the exposure we can recheck that uh, that looks about right you don't want it to be blown out but you want it to be just about right so another process to remove we scroll down here and we go down to noise and sharpening I'm going to click on that link now this is the feature called no noise AI and we're going to click on that I, I like to use the automatic settings now it's going to scan the photo okay now we, if we, we click apply now look what it's done it's removed all of the grain in the photo so if we go to export the photo now we're going to export it to a JPEG so we click on the name All right, we want to click here. I forget all the settings on here. I'm just going to click on a bunch of them. All right, we're going to change this to... I'm just going to say ladder. And we are going to export this. You can put it like in a subfolder if you want. We gotta change that. So we can go to Silverfast 9. We'll select that folder. Now let me export it. Okay. Now I'm gonna go find it. And there it is. It's, it's in the export folder in Silverfast 9. So we're going to click on that. There's the resolution size, 3365 by 2253. That's a pretty large file size. And we've converted it from TIFF to JPEG. Pretty well uncompressed. You can control the compression. But there's what you have. After we removed all of the, uh, the dust from it and whatever, there's your photo. See, it looks like it... It now looks like a digital photograph almost, doesn't it? Well, I think that's, that's kind of how you do it. And your slides, you do the same way. You just put it in the uh, slide section of the scanner. And then you can go in there. Not slides, I should say negatives. Negatives, you put them in the scanner and then it runs them through. Um, on my Plus Tech scanner, you put them in a little holder and run them through. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you learned something interesting because... Uh, yeah, now we have a restored photograph. Isn't that neat? That is so neat. Remember, everybody, stay safe, be happy, and keep and, and keep on. Um, what do we want to say? Learning, because learning is great. There's always a learning curve to everything. So um, see you. See you all later. Adios. Goodbye. And aloha. This video is over with. It is finished. Finisto.